Hey guys, what's up and welcome to the Darth Marzi Show again. This is my daily vlog. I'm going to be talking about my top 15. I, I tried to get it down to 10, but it was so difficult to do. Um, so we're going to start from number 15 and then obviously ending on my favourite movie ever. Number 15 is weird. It's a weird one. So just stay with me, guys. Number 15 is The Terminal. Uh, why? It's my, me and my wife's, like, one of my, me and my wife's favourite films. Um, if you haven't seen it, it's starring Tom Hanks. It's one of those Tom Hanks classic films. Um, and it's really believable. So the idea is that he's stuck in an airport because there's a war that's ravaging in his country and he can't go into the United States and he can't go home. So he's stuck living in this airport. Um... Uh, it's got Catherine Zeta-Jones, uh, but the, it, his character and his accent is so believable that you kind of forget it's Tom Hanks. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a great film. If you haven't watched it, it's not actually one of Tom Hanks' most well-known films, so go and watch that film. Number 14 on my list is Back to the Future Part 2. Um, why it's not the first one? Uh, because I think it's better, generally. It's almost like improved. Um, they improve on... Um, improve on like the whole idea that the DeLorean can go through time, it can fly, and um, they go back towards the end. Spoiler if you haven't seen the film, which would be a sin if you have not seen the film. Um, but at the end, they go back over the end of the first movie and they overlap it, and it's so clever. Um, plus, like they predict loads of awesome things that actually come true, like VR for <laughs> for, for a start. Uh, number 14, I'm not going to go through all of these films like in depth, maybe I could do like a separate video on each, um, but we could be here forever otherwise. Uh, but number 14 is Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park was like the first film I, I remember seeing as a kid in the cinema and I remember coming out and being blown away, like you had not seen anything like it before. The dinosaur, like CGI was not a thing and then Jurassic Park just suddenly came out of nowhere. Um, and it was just it just classic. It made my childhood, and I've loved dinosaurs ever since. Um, some great acting in it as well. Jeff Goldblum, for example, and his famous laugh. Um, next on my list is Goodfellas. Really great man uh, gang <laughs> gangster. Really great, <coughs> really great gangster film. Um, with Robert De Niro and. Uh, Joe Pesky and just some amazing actors, amazing, um, amazing script in that film. Um, one of the first gangster films I saw. Um, followed that, I watched films like Casino and The Godfather and stuff like that. But I think Goodfellas is Goodfellas is the ultimate gangster movie, and that's why you should go watch that film. Next on my list is Superman Two. Again, why we're we not chosen the the first one? Because Superman Two is improved. Um, the effects were cool. Uh, Christopher Christopher Reeve was is always going to be the best Superman, and um, the bad guys. Um, they had like the best villains in that film, um, and some of the coolest special effects I ever saw as a kid before things like Jurassic Park and and Star Wars. So, uh, Superman Two is. Definitely a film you must watch with uh, the Leaning Tower scene and all of that. It's, it's awesome. Uh, next on my list is Batman, which is uh, Tim Burton's Batman. Um, that film is just incredible in so many ways. Jack Nicholson as the Joker is the best Joker. Um, if you haven't seen that film and you, you like the later ones, go back and watch that one. Um, a lot of the sequels after that I didn't really like. Batman Returns, and then you had like the one with George Clooney, and even the one with Arnold Schwarzenegger. I'm a massive Schwarzenegger fan, and I didn't really like that one. So uh, watch Batman, and then go watch The Dark Knight, because they're like the two ba best Batman films. But um, Batman was really dark, gritty. Um, generally, like the, the whole tone of the film is really dark. So go go watch it. It's awesome. Next on my list is the original Planet of the Apes, the proper original movie uh, with Charlton Heston. That film, again, was one of those films I watched as a kid that really blew my mind. Um, 
it's it does look dated now a little bit, like some of the masks and things. Um, and some of but the makeup looks incredible still. Um, and the story generally, and obviously they've, they've kind of rebooted it uh, with the new movies. But um, this one will always be the best. And actually, in fact, a lot of the sequels are good. There are some a few weird moments, and Tim Burton's remake of Planet of the Apes sucked. The ending made no sense. So if you've seen those and not watched this one, go watch the original. It's amazing. Um, it's like 10 out of 10. It's, it's just incredible story, incredible story writing, and, and incredible um, incredible visuals as well for, for its time. This one's another weird one with David Soul as the <laughs> starring act. Um, that, that's Salem's Lot, which was the based on the book uh, by Stephen King. And it was actually a two-part series technically um but you kind of now you buy it as a film um but it was split into two parts um way 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 before i was born then i was introduced to it by my dad and it gave me nightmares and in fact i was when i was younger i was probably watching films that i shouldn't have been but it kind of made me who i am now and the films i like watching um and Salem's lot is part of that it's scary it's it's like one of the scariest vampire films, and uh, I'm not going to spoil it, but you need to go watch it. It's really dark. Go go check it out. I'm sure the full film is probably on YouTube or something, um, or just pick it up for like three quid on DVD. Uh, but go watch that, and please get over David Soul's terrible fashion sense in that movie. Uh, next on my list is Saving Private Ryan, another Tom Hanks classic. Um, but this film has such an incredible cast, and I've just watched it again recently uh, on Blu-ray, and it's it, it's still it's still up there as the best war movie ever made. Um, the first scene is iconic, where they're, where they're on the where it's D-Day and the they're, they're landing on the beaches, and you've got the machine guns, you know, raining down on the boats, and there's just like blood everywhere, and like people dying, and then guts everywhere, and it's just so powerful and it's so realistic. You do it's one of those films you get lost in, and you forget that it's it is a film. You 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 start seeing it as a documentary, and these are the people that are actually there. So that is a definite watch. It's very long, um, and there is a hell of a lot of dialogue. But stick with it, watch it. It's amazing. It is one of my favorite, 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 favorite films. This is Indiana Jones and the Raiders of the Lost Ark. Uh, what can I say about this movie? It's it's just perfect, perfect in every way. Uh, it's influenced so much, so many movies and shows, and God knows what else. Um, it's you know Harrison Ford's best performance. You know he was great in Star Wars. Don't get me wrong, as he was in Han Solo, but he is Indiana Jones, and this film is incredible from start to finish. The action of it, the the whole uh, you know the treasure finding and the, and the iconic scene with the boulder. Um, the other films that followed it were okay. Temple of Doom's a great movie. Last Crusade's a bit iffy, and we're not even going to talk about the fourth one. <laughs> Obviously, we've got a fifth one coming out, so hopefully it will redeem itself just like Star Wars did. Um, but I'm not I'm not holding my breath. I'm holding my breath for that one because. Um, you know, Raiders is a great movie. And that face melting scene at the end. Awesome. The next on my list is uh, my favourite sci-fi horror of all time. Uh, and that is Alien. Uh, Alien is just this monster of a movie that just completely dominated my life as a child. Like, it was all about aliens for me. Alien and Aliens were just two fantastic movies. Um, the Xenomorph scared the crap out of me as a kid, but I just I just put it on repeat, put it on repeat. And I remember I got the box set as a kid. Um, and in fact, I think Alien Three is a lot of people hate it. I love it. Um, it was so wrongfully hated, and I don't understand why to this day. Um, but Alien Resurrection can go fuck itself. Um. Next on my list is a very old movie, uh, Night of the Living Dead. It was the first zombie movie, um, 
and obviously it's, it's you still see the effects of how popular how amazing that movie was today with the walking dead um with you know like call of duty zombies and you know all the zombie games dead rising and dead island it all came from night of the living dead so if you haven't seen that and you're a zombie fan this is a must watch um it's filmmaking at its best it didn't have much budget uh, there's very minimal cast, very minimal lines, um, and in fact, if you watch the special edition um, that they released on DVD uh, way, way back, I think 2001 or something like that, um, but was when DVD first sort of came into existence, and they released the new version of it with some added scenes. They, they had a whole new intro to the movie, which I thought was really cool. It was very, it was. People were very 50-50 on that. But I love it. I love that film so much. And um, I'd never seen it before that. So I went into it watching that for the first time. And that's the the, the version I remember the most. Um, it is incredible. It really is incredible. And it's and it's the beginning of everything. Before Dawn of the Dead and you know Day of the Dead and all of that. Um, which were great movies too. But Night of the Living Dead is just classic. It's black and white. But it has a real atmosphere to it. My next movie, we're in the top three now, guys. Um, now, this movie, uh, this movie, the whole the whole collection is incredible to me. Um, and it's a weird one. People are going to go, really? Like, over all of those other films? But hit me up. So, uh, Rocky 2 is my next film. And it's such a motivational bunch of films. Um, whenever you feel crap about yourself, whatever, you, like, you know what I mean, you can watch that series of film, and it's real motivating, it's a great film, it's a great story, it's great acting from Stallone, um, including the new Creed, Creed movie is, is also fantastic as well, and um, really you've got to watch all of them, but Rocky 2 is the one that stood out for me, um, it was a perfected Rocky, Rocky really, like, it was better than the first one, uh, it's better than the third one, so that's why I kind of put this one on my list. Um, the fight with uh, between Rocky and Apollo, the rematch, was just incredible. The sound, and you've got to experience that on Blu-ray with the sound up. It is an incredible watch, and again, it's incredible filmmaking, incredible writing. Um, but the whole the whole Rocky movie collection is is awesome. Um, uh, there's not one that I dislike. My next uh, movie is I hold dear to my heart. Um, and that is the one and only Jaws. Now that is just an incredible movie. I can't fault it. You could take the shark away from it and it will be an incredible film. The acting between the three on the boat are just... Ugh. I could go on forever about this movie. Um, the technical feat of having that shark in, in filming it and the amount of problems that went wrong. Um, it still looks incredible to this day. And if you've watched the, the latest release on Blu-ray, it's like a new movie. It really is. Um, the second one I, I really enjoyed as well. I love, I love the second Jaws film. And then... Yeah, we all know what happens after that, unfortunately. You know, Jaws 3 could have been a great movie if they didn't film it in 3D and if they had a better script. Um, it was The actual idea of it was was awesome, but it, it, it didn't happen. And then, yeah, there's four. Well, we all know what happened there. <laughs> um, but yeah, again, Jaws is just incredible. Go watch it if you haven't seen it. What are you doing? Turn this video off. Go put Jaws on. And of course, we all know what number one's going to be. It influenced my channel. It influenced everything I do as I am. I am, like, I am Star Wars. Star Wars is incredible. Um, now, what did I put on my list? I put The Force Awakens. Haters gonna hate. Um, why? Because, okay, so, when the prequels came out, I lost interest in Star Wars. It, I enjoyed them up to a certain point, and I was like, you know, I'm done with Star Wars. And, you know, I love the original trilogy. The original trilogy is what I grew up on. Um, 
and when the prequels came out, so the Phantom Menace was good. I was like, okay, oh, hey, that's good. That's that's a good film, but it, it's it's not a good Star Wars film, but it's a good film. But I do love Darth Maul. Everyone loves Darth Maul. Um, Attack of the Clones came out, and I was like, holy crap, what they've done. Revenge of the Sith was all right. Like I love the ending of Revenge of the Sith, and that was it really. Like um, but I got Revenge. Of the, I watched Revenge of the Sith in the cinema, and I was like. That was a great movie. Again, but it wasn't a great Star Wars movie. And then time passed, then it kind of just went on. And then when I heard they were releasing a new Star Wars film, like, it's always like The Force Awoke in Me. I know that sounds really cheesy. Um, I started, like, playing the video games again, watching the films, um, collecting, like, digging out all my, like, Star Wars figures and dusting them off and displaying them. And, and then this channel was born. Um... And really, yeah, like I said, The Force Awakens was a great movie. Um, and it is my favourite Star Wars movie. Um, followed by... I know you're going to hate me again. Followed by Rogue One. Then um, Return of the Jedi. Then Empire and New Hope. Um, so that was my top list, guys. Um, I'll link a comment in the description below to uh, all the trailers. So you can go check them out. And maybe I'll do like a, a more in-depth review of each movie as time goes on. And maybe I'll do a list of um, movies that I hate as well. That might be quite a fun thing to do. Uh, did you agree with me, guys? What do you think are your, what, what are your favourite movies out of there? Are there any in there that you hate? Discuss in the comments below. And I'll see you again tomorrow, guys. Thanks very much.